guys and welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk about how to get off a plateau now number one being on a weight loss journey is stressful in its own but then working so hard that you get to a plateau can be so unmotivating giving up making you want to binge eat and these things will either gain to your plateau or make it even worse for you on your weight loss journey. Now, the biggest thing for me on a plateau is getting rid of the scale. The scale itself is an enemy for me alone and if you're noticing that you're stepping on the scale and you're eating right and you're working out and the number is not moving and you're stuck on a plateau, put away that scale and start looking at the jeans, start measuring your waistline, start having goals for clothing that you used to have and you can't fit definitely try to look at those clothes definitely try to look at those clothes and see where your measurements have been off or on and then when you see that that is working for you definitely put that scale back into play but as all women and males know the scale is the devil and sometimes it's literally just not your friend another thing that I've noticed that helps me on a plateau is switching things up a little bit if you are the type to meal prep definitely switch up your meals a little bit. Maybe there's something in those meal plans that are having you a little bit more comfortable than you want to do. Or if you work out Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday, definitely switch up your routine a little bit. Maybe do a little bit more cardio or do a little bit more with strength training or put in some classes. Definitely switch it up. It definitely helps. Being on a plateau, I also do detoxes, water fasts, some people think it's not ideal, but to, in order to be on a plateau, switching up your body a little bit and flushing those detoxes out definitely do help. I'm not saying you're getting on a water fast for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, but if you're detoxing once a week or on the weekend, it definitely helps and flushes out things that you don't want to be in your body. The number one thing to getting out of a plateau is staying consistent in everything you do and honestly that's one of the hardest things to do is eat right and eat healthy which is the same thing is to eat right and eat healthy and work out consistently day by day by day there are days where you slip up but that one slip up out of 30 60 90 days will not affect you if you're slipping up if you're slipping up three to four times a week I've noticed in a plateau, when you do switch up anything that you're doing, it it helps you so much. And another thing is being positive. Maybe other things that you can look at that you can notice that can push you forward. And it's not always about what that number says on the scale, but how you feel. And if you're feeling good, don't let that number discourage you. Motivation and positive energy will get you anywhere in life and feeling happy. So I would definitely say that getting out of that plateau is a mixture of things and it's mental and physical. So if you guys are on a plateau, stay positive and just keep pushing and keep motivating yourself to move forward and trust me and believe that plateau will aside. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful and you guys are in a plateau or got past a plateau, definitely leave it down below and maybe your tips can help other people. And if my tips were helpful, definitely thumbs up this video. And if you would like to see more motivational health videos, definitely let me know down below. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.